Hello, Amiibos. This is Jason of Game and Shock. So, welcome to another part of exploring a memory card, where we get to look at other people's life through a memory card. Hooray! So, obviously, this is a follow-up video to exploring memory card number two that I did in November last year, and that video did surprisingly well for my channel. I mean, here are the statistics right now. So, here is the follow-up six months later. So let's look through more life through other people's lives on memory cards, if that makes any sense. So now, let's start. So we're going to see some of the other memory cards that I did in that video, just with some new icons. But we'll, we'll get to see some new stuff. So starting with this one, this one is Ryan's from last time. Remember Ryan? Yeah, because I remember Ryan as well. So does this, look, does this look familiar to any of you people? It should, maybe to a few of you. So here are some of the, the new ones that I have. So this first one, what a good way to start off, with Final Fantasy X. With a very, very boring icon. It's just the Final Fantasy X logo, just white and spinning on a cube. What a great way to start this video, right? I know. Um, then we got Narnia. Well, this is um, Narnia, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. It's just a coin with Aslan's face on it. Because, I don't know, that's what the Narnians did. They they wanted to celebrate Aslan's life. And so they just printed his head on a coin. Pride. <laughs> uh, so let's see what else we got. We got Rayman Arena. Save data. So this one is... This one I actually like because it's, it's just... Even though it's just Rayman um, just spinning stationary. It just looks like, hey, hey, player... You want to play some Rayman Arena? Let's just ha let's just go on a nice race together and just have some fun. Just unfreeze me, please. And like last time, some of these will do something if you threaten to delete them. So this one doesn't do anything. Narnia doesn't do anything, and neither does Final Fantasy X. So that sucks. And it doesn't do anything if you copy them either. And I don't know if I showed this one last time. This one is Resident Evil Co. Veronica X. I don't think I showed this one. I'm pretty sure. It's considering that um, February 2019. Probably not because, you know, I did the other video back in November. So if this one's it's just the typewriter from the game, it's, that's fine. It's fine just having the typewriter. Everyone loves the typewriter Resident Evil. Maybe not everyone, but who cares. And then here's the other one. This one had a bunch of stuff on it as well. So... Let's see, just let all of it load first. Yeah, remember all this stuff? Remember my um, Gran Turismo 3 game data called loser equals winner? Yeah, I know. It was very good because loser equals winner. The loser who came in last, it will just equal out to become the winner. Just like, like a failing kid in a class becoming a grade A student. All right, so this, so like the, like the other one, there's not a lot of new ones here. So the first one is Dark Cloud. This one is the genie, obviously. It's a genie lamp. I haven't played enough of the game to know, like, the genie. According to the manual, her name is Ruby, because it's a she. Ruby the genie. And anyway, look at that nice, happy lamp. This bouncing and bouncing. I like this one. This is one of my favorite ones. There's, like, bouncing and bouncing. Maybe doing a little dance. And if you threaten to delete it, Ruby will go, like, no, no, no. Turn to the no button. Please, no, no, no. All right, thank you. Your wish is that your wish is my command. Blah, 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 blah. All right, and then if you ask to copy it, I'm pretty sure it'll do something. It does. Ruby will just just jump in joy like yes, yes, yes. If you bring me to the other side, I will give you more wishes, more than three wishes, because who needs just three? I don't need to be a traditional genie. I can be any kind of genie I want. Da da da. So there you go. Alright, so the next one is, um, this one is really, uh, I can't speak today. Really interesting. This one is Primal. So I've only saved the game four times, that's why I'm in Solemn. So this one is the main characters, um, Jen and her sidekick, Scree, I think her name, his name is, my bad. And just little chibi versions of them. Again, this is a really nice one. Uh, don't get like why the background has to be just full on red and you can't see the rest of the icons. But look at that. It's just co it's cool. 
It's cool looking. I like it. It's nice. And you got enough, and you got lots of detail on it, especially for figurines this small. They kind of look like Funko Pops, to be honest. And then this one is Onimusha 2. Remember Onimusha 1, where we had Samanosuke? This one we got Jubei. If you play the game, you will know exactly why I said it that way. And uh, again, just like Onimusha 1, this one and it is moving. We got the character Jubei. Um, thrusting a sword into battle. Just wait. Slice! Just slice everything. Destroy all the demons. And just... Save the world. And if you threaten to delete it... No! Ugh. I'm dying. Please click the... No uh, click the no button, please! Ugh. It's impossible! Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm referencing Star Wars now, but... Ugh. No! <laughs> Alright, there you go. So then if you, I'm, let's see, if asked to copy it, it's, uh, Jubei is getting ready for a battle. He's training. He's got his bamboo thing right there. Splitting his two. Just slice. Just slicing it. Just slicing it all over the place. Slice! And there we go. And, uh, we got a few more up here. This one is Spider-Man. This one is just the first, um, uh, the first Spider-Man game. The first Tobey Maguire movie. That's what this is. It's just basic Spider-Man logo. Nothing special. But you know what? It kind of looks like. It has a nice red to it. And then these ones are... Muh! Frontline. It's Medal of Honor Frontline. But my, here's mine. Here's my save file. Gammon Shock. I couldn't fit Gammon Shocks because apparently the game is too stingy to put more than 10 letters. So I just put Gammon Shock. And then we got... Muh! Frontline options. Um, so it's just the options. And the icon is just a spinning grenade from World War II. I'm currently doing a Let's Play on this game right now, so that's why I have a Gammon Shock. So if you want to see that Let's Play, go ahead. I'll put a link in the description below. So these don't do anything. Imagine it explodes if you thread to delete it, or if you copy it, it'll just throw more grenades. That'd be kind of awesome, but you know what? They didn't do that, but that's okay. They don't, they don't need to. Alright, so let me just pull out some of these other, um, memory cards. And just put these, uh, right here. Um, we got a blank memory card right here. And then this one, you probably can't see it, but it has a, um, it's a, uh, it has some names on it. Kyle and Arnold. Or is it Kyle Arnold? I don't know, but I'm gonna consider them Kyle and... I'm probably gonna just call them both names, so screw it. Uh, let's put, uh, the blank one. In here, this one was empty the, when I got it, but it did put a lot of stuff in here. And then there's Kyle Arnold's. All right, so let's start with this one. This one I got a bunch of stuff in. So um, here we go. I don't know why I snapped. Anyways, let's start at the bottom. So the first one we got is the Getaway. This one, even though the Getaway is a GTA clone. The icon is a head, a severed head, because apparently in the getaway, in like whatever London, uh, people will cut off their heads like it's medieval times. I don't know why. Someone asked me why. Why do people have severed heads? Like, why do the gangs in London have severed heads like that? I don't know, but you know what? It's interesting. It doesn't do anything, but you know what? Whatever. Actually, do I have more? Actually, I have a few more. Never mind. So this one's Corvette, and this one just looks like the um, the Patriots fifth quarter logo. So let's spin back around and you'll see what I mean. See, doesn't it look like the Patriots fifth quarter icon like logo? I don't know. Maybe I'll put it on the screen right now just to show you what I mean. If it can spin back around, please. There we go. See, don't they look similar? They do, kind of. And then this one is Harry Potter. Just Harry Potter. But this one's Chamber of Secrets. So this one is just a pentagon um, with Harry in it. It's just bouncing up and down with stars going around because it's magical. And we got Harry inside look, looking like he's getting ready for a talent show. Or like some kind of Chinese puppetry. I don't know. It's... I like it. Right, and then this one is... Jim Six. It's Jeremy McGrath's Supercross World. 
So this one is just kind of boring. It's just a helmet. But at least they kind of tried because, you know, it's an actual icon that is a thing. Unlike those, like, flat cubes like the other ones. So props to you for actually doing something different. Alright, so... So we already did the severed head of the getaway. Next is the Mark of Cree. Now this one is also kind of cool because we got a scroll. It's like opening and closing. It's, it's like the dragon scroll. Just, you can't, you can close it. Just, <laughs> it just has some like Polynesian like text on it that I can't read because I'm not Polynesian and I don't know how to speak the Polynesian language or whatever, like Pacific Islands language. And also, look at the background color. It's like a, like a really weird tan. And it, but still, like, the way it's closing and opening is interesting. Alright, then we got... Mohia! Halt Shock. Now, this is Medal of Honor European Assault. And this is Halt Shock. So, uh, it, it always has Halt in it. And it just puts Shock without a C. Because I can do that. So, this one is, just, is a different grenade. Doesn't look that much similar, to, that much different from the one in front line. So, uh, it's just sort of rotated 45 degrees to the left. And that's the only difference. And then all of these ones are SSX on tour. So this one is, uh, mine, which is JASON! Like in Heavy Rain. JASON! No. Alright, so then this one is, um... A different character, a different character I did. This one's called Fem Shock because I can only put seven letters in for some reason. So f there you go, Fem Shock. And then this one's the options. Very exciting because all of these are exactly the same. All right, then here's um, Tony Ox Pro Skater Three options and pro careers. So this one's just a basic Tony Ox Pro Skater Three logo, just um, rotated like sixty degrees to the left, like to the right. So. I don't know. I don't know why, like, Activision decided, like, you know what? To make this icon special, we're going to rotate it, like, 60 degrees to the right. And people will remember it that way. Brilliant! Alright, and then we got some more Pro Skater 3 stuff. This one's my, uh, my custom skater, Shocks. And then I got some replay data. Shocking session. Ha! <laughs> no. But it's just one, this one is a, a camera. Just because of, you know, be, being a replay, it's just gonna show, you know, the replay. Obviously. Makes a lot of sense. And then Shocks, I'll probably, I'll probably just post, put up a picture of, um, of Shocks right now. Just so you can see what he looks like. Or maybe I'll just put up the game right now. <laughs> Alright, so that's SSX on tour. And then we got SSX3 with Jason! No. And then, um, we got SSX3 options. Very exciting because the SSX3 logo. But it is kind of like, um, it is like folded out a bit. You know how sometimes box arts will have like some like pushed out letters? It kind of reminds me of that. But it, yeah, it looks really nice. Really nice. Nice. Alright, and then we got ESPN X Games Skateboarding. It's just the X Games logo. Woo. And then we got NBA Street with uh, who I'm guessing is um, LeBron James just doing trick shots, doing trick dribbles uh, in the same direction, doing uh, the infinity sign. Like he's trying to tell me something like, hey, Jason, let's, let's play a game. Let's play some NBA Street. Come on, man. Let's play some NBA Street. Even though I don't want to play NBA Street right now. And it doesn't do anything if you threaten to delete it. Which is a bummer. And then we got my Kingdom Hearts 2 save. Level 1. I played for an hour and a half. Because I'm trying to get through the slowest part of the game. Which is the beginning. And it sucks. I don't like the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 2. I want it to be over. And then we got some Dora. And we got some more Dora. Okay. Let me explain. The reason why I have Dora. Well, this is Dora Journey to the Journey to the Purple Planet. This is here because I did a April Fools video about Dora Journey to the Purple Planet. I'll also put a link to that in the description below because I loved doing that video. It was such a fun video, but we got a very poorly made 
map icon because you can kind of see like it glitching and um and it like just not being rendered all that well and just like map so it's just Dora Dora 2 and then and then we also got Dora Dora 1 so um yeah I pretty much kind of ripped the game to shreds in the video but again I'll put a link to it in the in the description below just so you can see like what it what it's like because I loved making that video. And then we got Hurdy Dirty. Which is a game by the people of Tomb Raider. Who made Tomb Raider. So it's just Hurdy Dirty. It's an apple being caught in a vine. It's just bouncing. Boing. 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 It's not even bouncing all that high. And we just got a black background. Which is very exciting. And it doesn't do anything when you threaten to delete it. Wah. And it doesn't do anything if you copy it either. And then this one is Rain of Fire. Jay said no. I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> so this one's Reign of Fire, obviously. So we got um the dragon. I haven't seen the movie because I've apparently it's based on a movie that I've never heard of, and I didn't even know that this was based on a movie until I looked at like the back or like there was an insert that had showed like, hey, this is a movie because I recognized Matthew McConaughey and Christian Bale on the on the insert. Like it was a mail in insert, so I was like, this is a movie. This does not look like a movie. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Because dragons? Reign of fire? Maybe. It's just a dragon. Alright, so we got Harry Potter Poa! It's Prisoner of Azkaban. So, it's just like a folding book? I don't know. I haven't seen the movie, so... And I haven't read the book either, so... Anyone can tell me what that is, because I don't know what that is. And it doesn't do anything when you delete it or copy it. Wah. So then we got the two towers. The Lord of the Rings two towers. So we just got the ring. The one ring to rule them all. Because you, you gotta have the one ring to rule them all. You have to. Return of the King also had it. I think it was just further down. Like You know how it's right here? It's, I think it's like down here. In Return of the King. I don't know if like Fellowship has like up here. <laughs> I don't know. And then we got Nifs <laughs> 2. 2. It's Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2, if you couldn't already tell. Probably the Nifs. Uh, so it's just Need for Speed logo, uh, initials with a car key, because you know what? Need for Speed's about cars, obviously. And we gotta have cars in there somewhere, so why not just put a key? Brilliant! Alright, so then we got, um, some Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 stuff. We got, um, we got my Jason career. And then we got my custom skater, Shocks. And, um, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll probably just put up to, um, Pro Skater 4. I'll probably just load up Pro Skater 4 and 3 just so you can see what they are. You know what? Let me do that right now. Okay, so here's my custom skater in Pro Skater 3, Shocks. Look at how beautiful this guy is. This is Shocks. He's blue because he's got to shock people. Get it? Ha! No. Alright, so, yeah. Here's Shocks. And you know what? Because I'm in Pro Skater 3, I'll also put up my, um, my replay data. My shocking session. It's literally just me just attempting to, um, just get the 60,000 60, points in Foundry. Let me just get it up real quick. There we go. So let's go. Let's just watch a bit of um, the best run I could get of Pro Skater 3 in Foundry. So, actually, I might actually I might need to turn this down because of, you know, copyrighted music. So let me just turn that down real quick. Just keep my hand up. No, let's just let it go and see what happens. Let me just turn it down a bit. So this is the best run I could do of Tony Hawk's Pro, Pro Skater 3. I'm not a skilled um, Pro Skater 3 player. But Tony Hawk player, but this was the best I can do, so... <laughs> oh well, if there's gonna be some kind of pro in the comments, like, Ugh, you suck at this game, Jason. You need to, you need to do much better at grinds and, <laughs> and not running into people like a moron. <sighs> this way, I'm probably gonna get some guy in the comments who's like that. Cause look at me, I'm already bailing right there. So there you go, that's me sucking. And... <laughs> So it's, this is pretty much me. I had to like, do grinding for most of it. And there we go, bailing again, missing out 5,000 points. 
I wish I had some one of the better songs in Pro Skater 3 soundtrack. Like, where's Blitzkrieg Bop? I want to listen to Blitzkrieg Bop right now. And, um, so this way I'm probably going to get, like, claimed in the comments. And be like, hey, you, you have our music. Even though I'm not being paid. So. So, look. This was the best I can do. I'm at 52,000 points. I'm trying literally the best I possibly can. So look, look how desperate I, look how desperate I was. Cause look, we got 45 seconds left. I can't fast forward it, so sorry. And then after that, we'll look at um, Pro Skater 4 and look at shots there. And then just be grinding again because grinding was the best thing I could do. And doing melons because I because like I said I'm not a skilled um, Tony Hawk player so I, I literally was trying everything I possibly could to, to just get it right and there we go that's how I got the 60,000 points notice the 64,000 so that's that's the best run I got of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 at 60,000 in Foundry look at all those points all down the drain there we go here's shocks and Pro Skater 4. Looks a bit different from Pro Skater 3 because I didn't really know how to use the customization with the colors. So that's why the blue is a bit, like, you know, a bit darker, more navy-like. So yeah, there we go. I don't have any replay data from Pro Skater 4, so back to the memory cards we go. Okay, so we're back, away from the, um, the licensed music. So back to the last um, icon of this memory card. Devil May Cry. So this one is one of the characters, is it, what's her name? Is it Trish, I think her name is? Because I, lo I looked at the manual before I uh, playing a bit of the game. So I'm guessing this is Trish just like doing a seductive dance. Like, ooh. Just, <laughs> trying to tempt me to play Devil May Cry. Like, ooh, look at that. <laughs> ooh, Jesus. And uh, if you threaten to the leader, she's like, just get out of my life. And then if you if you copy it, if Trish can turn around, just just going like, yes, come on, let's go on a Devil May Cry adventure. Let's make the devil cry, possibly because the devil may cry. Ha! No. So there we go. That's that's all the the um, that's all the um, the PS2 memory cards. But wait, I have a few more PlayStation One um, memory. Um, Icons, but we'll go through Kyle Arnold's next, and um, so here we go. Here's Kyle and Arnold's um, memory card, which is kind of pathetic. Then we have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not well, pretty much eight games on this. So the first one is Spy Hunter. Now I actually have this game, so let's just see how much progress they made. Okay, so here we are. So this apparently, I'm guessing, was Kyle's game. So. Kyle beat the game, and then I'm guessing one of his friends or his brother, Joel, only got to mission one. That's pretty sad. Let's just see all the missions. Operations. How many missions are even in this game? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, there's 14 missions in the game. So Kyle beat, beat the entire game, while Joel over here did nothing. He's, he's useless. Why did I even? Why was I even thinking? It's, it's Kyle. I'm guessing that Kyle was probably like the younger brother, and then Arnold had like the more extreme, like edgy games. So let's go back to the memory card, and maybe we we can check. Welcome back to Kyle and Arnold's memory card. So that's Kyle's game, Spy Hunter. So here's the only moving one in this entire memory card, Choro Q. Uh, I don't have this game, so I don't know how much progress they made. So we got like a three wheeled. Sort of like Volkswagen Beetle. I don't know. I really don't know what this game is about. But I like the, um, the way this Choro Q is bouncing. I like it. It's distinct from the rest of the memory card. So then we go from a cutesy little car to edgy clowns. Twisted Metal Black. So I'm guessing this is Arnold's memory card. Oh yeah. This is Arnold's, <laughs> this is Arnold's game. Twisted Metal Black. Like, he's probably like some angsty emo person. It's like, uh, you know what? I hate my life. So you know what? I'm gonna be a clown. And I'm just gonna destroy stuff. Because you know what? I hate my life. Uh, I don't have Twisted Metal Black, so... 
Oh well. Next game, which is Madden NFL Pro Pro One, which is which Madden is that? 2008. Uh, who cares? Next game, flat out. Uh, we got another cube. Well, this one's a rectangular prism. Ooh, like that makes a difference. Uh, so we got the flat out logo, and we got I'm guessing is a tire that's on fire. Fire! Also, they saved the game back in 2009. When did Spy Hunter? When did they last saved Spy Hunter? September 2012. Wow. What about Choro? March 2012. Twisted Metal. February 2012. What about Madden? February 19th, 2012. Flat Out. May 2009. That's a big gap between those two. And then Sonic Riders. The first one, Game Data 01, May 2009, again, they probably, I'm guessing that Kyle and Arnold got really into the PlayStation 2 in like May 2009, and then by like uh, February to September 2012, they stopped, because you know what, Arnold had other angsty things to do. Alright, so then we got Sonic Riders, Zg. I mean Zero Gravity. So this one is just Sonic, like he is on the cover, just on his hoverboard. And then that's just the basic Sonic Riders logo. And then Virtual Fighter 4. So I actually do have this game. So this one's the system data. Saved back in November of 2008. Like Christ. And then we got a Virtual Fighter 4 replay. <laughs> okay, get a load of that title. Old People Rule. When did they save it? November 2008. Okay, so you know what? I'm kind of curious. Because I have Virtual Fighter 4. So, I, I'm really curious as to, like, what Kyle or Arnold actually did with this. Okay, so let me just go get the game right now. Okay, so here we are in Virtual Fighter 4. So, let's go down to the replay down here. Alright, so let's see. So, let's, let's check out old people rule. Let's see what they actually did. So, it's this one. And uh, I'm guessing that it's the only one. Shun versus Pet. Old people rule. I'm guessing it's old people. Like it says, huh? Ha! Huh. No. All right, let's let's watch. Let's just watch and and just watch in awe as to what Kyle and Arnold bestowed upon me. So let's just see. Now loading. I like how it's a crossword. Very clever, Sega. So let's see. Um, I haven't played a lot of Virtual Fighter Four, so let's just see. Oh, of course, we're in something old, an aquarium. Uh, no. <laughs> Mm. Ready, go! <laughs> wait! What kind of- wait, wait, wait! <laughs> wait, what? So old people rule. They're using Shun to put- Do they- does Kyle and Arnold have something against women? Oh my god! Okay, <laughs> what? Okay, they have some serious vendetta against young women. Uh, I have a problem <laughs> with that. Uh, okay, I think I've seen enough. But stop. Stop. Wait, can I pause it? Alright, do I have to watch the whole thing? I don't want to watch the whole thing. Well, just let, just let the whole thing play out. Can I turn this off? I don't want to watch this. I really don't want to watch this. Okay, Arnold had some serious problems. Clearly. Because again, with him being emo and just wanted to angst, he didn't care. He didn't care. I don't ever want to meet Arnold. Okay, though, I don't want to see that ever again. So let's just get back to the memory card. Okay. Okay, we're back. We just suck Arnold unleash his political views on uh, on women. There we go. I'm guessing Kyle is a very normal person. Ch props to you, Kyle, because uh your brother or your friend, whoever whoever the hell he is, uh he has problems. So let's just go to the PlayStation 1 memory card and I don't have much to show off with this. I just have a few more icons to show. Um we got Metal Gear Solid VR mission, like none of the VR missions uh, well, not like the, the standalone VR missions, but the VR missions in Metal Gear Solid is what I'm trying to say. It's Snake, I think. I don't know. Then we got A Bug's Life, but I, which I played for... <laughs> doesn't even say. I'm um, just on level 1, because I just finished level 1. 
That's it. And then we got Crash Bash. Uh, zero, three, 3%, 0 percent, zero percent, zero percent, zero percent in Crash Bash because Crash Bash takes forever to 100% complete. And then we got Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. That's really all I have for the PlayStation 1 memory cards. <laughs> um, so we just got Spyro blinking and then CB and Crash just trying to <laughs> collide into each other. And then there's the rest of mine that you likely saw last time, like, um, like, um, Namco Museum Volume 3 with my initials, GNS. And then, um, what else? Siphon Filter 2 with J Sun. No. Okay. So that's it. That was quite an interesting video, that's for sure. So thank you all for watching the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And next video is I'm not I'm not sure. It'll likely be a while until I find some more memory cards. But you know what? If you like this video, good on you. I'll I'll likely do some more of these in the future. If I can find more memory cards, maybe at flea market since flea market season is starting. So shock the world and us, amiibos. Goodbye.